Oh guys, it seems like we got such a retarded ass comment from one of the actors on the TV show The Boys. I don't watch that show anymore. It became trash after season one, got hella political. I don't know why they didn't just keep making more parodies of popular superheroes like Spider-Man or maybe the Fantastic Four. I don't know, just make fun of other concepts as well. Like make fun of the multiverse on Alien Invasion, something along those lines. But they couldn't help themselves but to get political. But what am I talking about? Apparently the actor who plays Homelander, Anthony Starr, said that Homelander can beat Superman? Like, is this dude legit retarded? Like, you have to be beyond dumb to even have the idea pop up in your head. But let's just read this tweet from Culture Crave. Anthony Starr says Homelander will kick Superman's ass. <laughs> sure, there's no kryptonite factor, and homie would fight so dirty. He's the type to go, oh, you got me, and then he goes down and comes up and throws sand in your eyes. What? That would not work on Superman. Like, Superman can take a bullet to the eye, and it wouldn't even affect him. What the hell would sand do? Is this dude genuinely stupid? Oh my god, let's just, let's just continue. This is sounds so stupid to me. Where uh, Superman is always like, oh, I wouldn't do that. There's innocent children that might get hurt. Homie's going to human shield himself with the kids. This has got to be one of the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Like I said before, the sand will not affect his eye. So that's already a stupid thing to say. And yes, Superman will prioritize everyone's safety before even thinking about fighting a villain. It does not matter. I'm just laughing this shit sounds so stupid. But it does not matter if Homelander uses human shields. Superman could grab him, move the humans, and punch him to halfway across the universe in less than a nanosecond. Like, are you fucking stupid? Homelander is not a powerful character. He's a big fish in a small pond. He is weak compared to most actual comic book characters. This character is just a ripoff. He's a parody of Superman. He's not even 0.1% on Superman's power. Not even Omni-Man is 0.01%. Zero, zero, yes, whatever. Who gives a shit? You get the idea. And Omni-Man can easily destroy Homelander, so it's just like, what the hell are you gonna do? Homelander has never been a powerful character. He appears powerful because everyone in his franchise is weak by comparison. He's never been powerful at all in any of his whatever iterations, the comics or the this TV show. He doesn't even have to try. He doesn't even know how to fight. He is fucking lazy. He doesn't do anything because he doesn't need to do anything. He doesn't have to learn anything. He doesn't have a fighting style. He doesn't have experience in fighting because he has no one to fight. And whatever his feats are, which they aren't even that much good feats to show how powerful the character are, is literally nothing compared to Superman. Literally nothing. Like we're talking about fighting Superman who bench pressed the weight of the earth for six days or five days straight. Or lifted 200 quintillion tons. Or held an entire black hole in his bare hands. Or lifted the concept of infinity itself. Yes, he lifted infinity. Nobody should be fucking Superman. Like, there's no contest. There probably is some contest, but he's easily one of the most powerful characters ever. Definitely top 50. I already get annoyed with the whole Goku versus Superman. That's the, one of the most oldest arguments in fandom. From a bunch of weebs who never picked up a comic book in their life. And we haven't even gotten a good depiction of Superman. That's where we get these retarded conversations like Goku versus Superman. But no matter how many transformations that Goku character gets. He will always be less than 1%. Maybe 1%. Maybe. That's probably being generous. But he will always be no more than 1% of Superman's power. So when these weebs say Goku can be Superman, I'm just like, have you ever read a fucking book in your life? You only see the goddamn trash Man of Steel movies and you watch Dragon Ball growing up. You know fucking nothing about Superman. If you think Goku can even scratch them, no matter how many fucking spiky hair color forms, Super Saiyan, whatever you want to call it, it will always be just a microscopic percentage of Superman's power. Get the fuck out of here with this nonsense. And when I think about it, I don't think this dude is even being serious because at the time of this recording this character is going to have a Mortal Kombat appearance and the next season of The Boys is coming out. Season 4 I believe. So I'm just assuming he's saying stupid ass shit 
to drum up hype for season four and Mortal Kombat DLC for him as well. Well, his character, he's basically him in real life. You've seen clips of this dude. He basically acts like the character. Thank you, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm very well, thank Stand you. Stand on my foot again, I'll kill you. No murders. So you can get your stupid ass pathetic marketing scheme of just saying that Homelander can beat Superman, but he wouldn't even scratch him. Fucking Superman can take out every kill in that franchise in less than a nanosecond without even trying. You don't understand the chance of the rip off on your same fucking network, Omni Man. Shut the fuck up about Superman, you dumbass idiot. There's some lazy ass marketing from this dude, but he's a troll. Like I said, he's Homelander in real life. He's a fucking troll. And what he said in that tweet sounds like something Homelander would say. But I'm done talking about this idiot. I'm just assuming he's not being serious and he can go fuck himself. Superman will destroy you any day of the week. And that is it for the video today, guys. Thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like the video. Buy my merchandise. And have a great day. Thank you.